Rihanna received the President's Award yes. at the 51st NAACP Award Saturday night. Riri was celebrated for her career in music and fashion, as well as her philanthropy work, and during her acceptance speech, issued a call to action in an effort to make change. Mm -hmm. Check it out. I mean, how many of us in this room have colleagues and partners and friends from other races, sexes, religions? Show of hands. Well, then, you know, they want to break bread with you, right? They like you? Well, then, this is their problem, too. So when we're marching and protesting and posting about the Michael Brown Juniors and the Tatiana Jeffersons of the world, tell your friends to pull up. I mean, we're a show where we're diverse and we talk about diversity, and she just called a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people, we all are dating interracially. You I know am what not. I mean? And I told, <laughs> not you yet, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I wouldn't date anybody w that wouldn't be an ally yes. to my, oh my gosh, you know. And yes. this is the thing about allies. Allies are good listeners. Yep. They don't take stuff personal. And that's an issue we have on this show is that a lot of people hear us speak and they take it personally. If we're talking about something that someone has done that's racist, you can't take it personally if that's not you. Say it. You, that's, you know, yeah. a Say good it. ally is able to actually listen and discern. understand and discern and say, that's not me, that, and, and that is wrong. Also, you should make sure to diversify your media and news. Don't yeah. stay with just one particular yeah. type of media. Oh. Listen to what's <laughs> going on with everybody. Yeah. I yes. do that. We all do that. Yes. That's what good allies do. So I hang out with people that are like that. That's for me. Yeah. No, 1,000%. Yeah. So okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen that Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union have publicly been super supportive to their daughter, Zaya, um, who is coming out as trans, but you guys, not everyone has been supportive. People like Young Thug, Boosie, and Soraya have all actually made headlines for speaking out against it. I think that we, we have started, like, assigning way too much value to, like, things people say that have never said valuable things. Um, <laughs> whereas say Cardi... Say that one more time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. I, oh. I think we have assigned way too much value to things people say that have never been known for saying valuable things. Okay. Cardi oh. has always, in my opinion, had a brain and used it, yes. and you could say that you don't like how she says things or she got an accent, but, she, but she, she, Cardi has a lot of common sense. I'm not saying everything she has said has been perfect. Nothing, everything I have said hasn't been perfect. People think that you have to be flawless or get a, or agree with everything someone says in order for you to respect what they say. But what I love about Cardi is you can always respect that it's coming from an authentic place. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's always coming from a thoughtful place. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's always coming from a place of like trying to have a human understanding of the situation. And I think that as we're talking about a child, again, I said this before, we do not let black children be children. Like, why are we talking about this young person in the new, in the media without any respect to their youth or to pretend? Yeah. Okay, so Adrian, I heard that you have some very exciting news to share. I do, that. I do. <laughs> I am so excited to announce that just this past Saturday, I debuted my new luxury vegan handbag line. It is called <laughs> La Voot. Yeah. I've been explaining that. I'm like, if you know, yeah. What say, does that mean? You know, how you put the TV on mute. Yes. Same concept, you're just gonna pronounce it, but with a V, la voûte, and it's actually the French words for the vault. Ooh. Oh. And you guys know I love everything French. Anything French I think sounds beautiful. But on top of that, you guys, I really do believe that every woman's purse is her own private vault. It's where yeah. you keep the things that you need, all yeah. the necessities, right, ladies? Yes. 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 So, yeah. yo, I'm the, sorry, what? The what? <laughs> that needs to go in the vault. Now your Monday, don't give us the blues because it's the one day we get to crush on our imaginary booze. It's time for, <laughs> say it with me, Mad! Crush Monday! My MCM is Oklahoma's own actor, producer, Brad Pitt. Ooh. Pitt has been a Hollywood heartthrob since the beginning of his career. Those baby blues have always made fans swoon. But finally, he's being recognized for more than just his chiseled cheeks as he recently won his first Oscar for his role in Once Upon a Time yeah. in Hollywood. However, 
He has always been a blockbuster babe, starring in classics like Ocean's Eleven series, Troy, and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I would mention Fight Club, but that's the one rule of Fight Club, not to talk about Fight Club. <laughs> My favorite role is that he plays a loving dad to his adorable six kids. Yep, that's a half a dozen little ones. How he does it, I have no clue, but he looks great while doing it. Mm -hmm. I can picture us now. <sighs> Brad and I walking the red carpet, so me looking smashing him debonair. Do you smell that? It's the love in the air, MCM. Our next guest is an NAACP Image Award nominated actor whose smooth voice and good looks had us all falling for him even before he made history playing Marvel's first black superhero. Please welcome Mike Coulter. <laughs> You're in the show Evil, which is coming back for a second season. Yeah. Always working. So the show deals with the question marks of life. I want to know if you've ever experienced anything unusual. You know, for, look, so growing up in the South, um, I grew up and there was this woman across the street from me and I was afraid of her. She was an older woman and I was just, I was just, I was afraid of her because she just looked weird. I mean, I hate to say it. <laughs> oh. She looked like a witch to me. I was, oh, I was very okay. young, <clears throat> yeah. you know, and so I would never go to her house and she would never come outside much. And I would see her, you know, and then I would run inside. Like I was afraid of her. I'm not yeah. going to lie. And my mom said at nighttime, I would have these things that happened to me in our show. We call them night terrors, but it, we called it hags riding you. So I would, I would be in my bed and I could feel this pressure on my chest. I couldn't sit up. I couldn't open my eyes. And I, I was having a hard time breathing, but mm -hmm. when I struggled, I'd finally get up and I would open my eyes and I would look around. There was no one there. That would happen, happen several times a night. And I told my mom about it and she said, you know, it's because you have this in your mind. You're thinking about this woman. It's in your conscious and you need mm -hmm. to put, make peace with that. And she said, you need, to, you need to go over there. You need to make peace with this Ooh. thing. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so I did and it's, they stopped. You see? Really? Yeah. So you went in and met her. What'd you say to her? I, I, she gave me something to take over. To her house just to go over there and drop right. it off yeah. and I went over and I put it on the porch and I knocked on the door and then I, I stepped back and I, I think I stepped into the yard I didn't like stay right, right. there uh -huh. and she opened the door and she, and, I, and I and I said whatever her name was and I said um, mom sent me to told me to bring you this and and she said something to me and I don't remember the details but I made eye contact with her yeah and it just I guess just seeing her sort of put me at ease I guess it just made me feel like okay at least I know she's a person yeah and I, it just made it better Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like the sandlot. <laughs>